Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be testing out the Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. Um, I already filmed this video once. <laughs> um, I filmed it last week when I first got this, so this isn't like a first impression video. Um, unfortunately, the video I filmed last week got deleted off my memory card somehow, which is fine because that video honestly wasn't my best video. I was in a pretty crappy mood due to being quarantined and having to reschedule a wedding. So I think it's all for the best that I have to refilm this. <laughs> but it's not a first impression, so I have already tested out the uh, Ilia skin tint a couple times already so I do have like some initial thoughts so it's just gonna be more of like a demo for you guys what I like about it what I don't all those types of things so let's just hop into it I threw on my big uncommon James hoop earrings because I feel like when I wear big hoops it puts me in a better mood um I'm still kind of breaking out these ones are healing up this one I kind of picked up today but we're healing up okay so when I first used this I was breaking out pretty bad um so it didn't really cover that well but I think now that these are kind of subsiding I won't have to do too much coverage with um concealer so yeah um I'm gonna first prime I'm gonna first go in with the um super goop glow screen sunscreen i've been using this super pretty very glowy very glowy <laughs> but it looks very pretty on the skin um it just makes you look like a glowing bronze goddess and i'm also going to use my the smooth and prime primer just to kind of smooth out all of my t-zone and if you're wondering this is what the super goop sunscreen looks like it's almost kind of tinted and when you blend it out, it's very glowy. And it just gives a very glowy sheen to the skin. And yes, even though I'm not going outside, I'm still putting sunscreen on. <laughs> Um, I mean, we might go take the dogs for a walk later, so still having to put my sunscreen on because sunscreen is important. So now I'm going to go in with the Ilia Skin Tint. I have it in the shade ST6 or And this is what the ingredients on there looks like. I can read it to you guys what it has in there. The Ilia Skin Tint is a clean tinted mineral SPF 40 serum with light dewy coverage that provides skincare benefits. It says it works for normal, dry, combination, and oily skin. The highlighted ingredients are plant-based squalene, which helps to support skin, improves the appearance of elasticity, non-nano zinc oxide, a clean mineral sunscreen that safely shields the skin from UVA, UVB, UVC, blue light, and infrared. It has hyaluronic acids, to help visibly plump the skin and seal in hydration and niacinamide which visibly improves in smooth skin texture it is vegan cruelty free and gluten free and comes in a recyclable package so that's good to know um so right off the bat i'm going to tell you right now this is a very very dewy skin tint Comparing it to the Kosa skin tint, um, these are both these are both one fluid ounce, but the Kosa skin tint is I would say not as thick as the Ilia one is. Like this is a very runny consistency and this is you know still like really like liquidy, but I would say it's a lot thicker than this one is. Um obviously the Kosas one doesn't have sunscreen in it, but I would say, as someone who has more oily combination skin, this one dries down more of a natural matte finish on me, where this one definitely is dewy. It does not dry down at all to a matte finish. It stays dewy unless I set it, and even when I do set it, it's still pretty dewy. 
um whereas this one if i set it it's pretty much matte so keep that in mind i still do enjoy this one um i mean i don't mind being dewy i just have to make sure that i set it very well or else i look like a greasy mess <laughs> so um i'm gonna go ahead and apply this i like to wait to make sure that you shake it up first um, and I definitely like to apply this with my hands and then I kind of blend it out with a sponge after but I just take about mm, take about that much see so you can see that this is yeah so this is definitely runny but it is a lot thicker than the Kosa skin tint I just kind of apply it to my face like you would a regular sunscreen or the Kosas skin tint. And I did apply Super Goop sunscreen under this even though this does have SPF in it. Because the amount of foundation you'd have to use to get the SPF benefits is actually quite a lot um, I've seen a lot of people have this debate so I always apply a sunscreen under my foundation even if the foundation does have SPF in it just to be on the safe side and have more SPF coverage so this is what one layer looks like as you can see still have my scarring and this guy popping up um it says that it is buildable so i will show you guys one more layer of this in like the areas that i need it So this is what one layer is looking like. As you can see, you can still definitely see some of the acne scarring coming through. So I'm just gonna go in with my um, Kosas Revealer Concealer. I have this in the shade four, and I'm just gonna spot conceal in the areas that I need it, which right now is a lot. I swear this quarantine life is really getting to me. I don't know if it's because I haven't been working out as much as I used to or if it's because I'm stressed or if it's because I'm not in my regular routine of like going outside and stuff like that or if it's all of the wine that I'm consuming or all of the above but my skin is not having it with me right now, so I'm trying to get that in order. I'm just using um, this company from Amazon sending these sponges. They're actually really good. They get like really puffy and squishy, and they're a lot cheaper than the Beauty Blender. So so far so good. I'm gonna keep testing them out, but. I like them. I think they hold up really nicely. This is what it looks like now with a layer of concealer on. Um, as you can see, it looks pretty dewy. Um, it's not like overly dewy, you know? Um, but definitely as time goes on, it does start to get a little bit more dewy for my liking just because you know, the oils start to mesh with it and kind of makes it get a little bit more of a natural looking dewiness to it. So I definitely have to set this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set it with my Ilia Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Um, I would say that obviously using the Ilia Setting Powder with the Ilia Skin Tint definitely works great together um 
that's like what they recommend you set it with obviously you can use whatever setting powder you like i just always use the ilia one so so i'm just gonna go in with um like finish up the rest of my face I'll list everything that i use in the description box down below Here is what everything on looks like. I just popped on the Honest Beauty liquid lipstick in the shade Happiness just to kind of brighten everything up in this dreadful, dreadful time and this gloomy weather. Um, but yeah, this is what the skin is looking like now. So I can show you guys in a couple hours what my skin looks like after wearing it throughout the day. Like I said, I already have tested us out i know how it wears throughout the day for me but i just wanted to show you guys what it looks like on camera how i use it and all that um but it definitely is very pretty i do want to play around with it more but i do like it um i would recommend it for those who have drier skin types or like that glowy look even if you are oily if you like a more matte look definitely don't get this because like I said, this is a very glowy skin tint foundation, whatever you want to call it. The foundation range, I've heard mixed reviews, so I didn't have a problem finding my exact skin tone. Um, I have pretty like yellowy neutral undertones, so I was able to find a match for me. But I have heard for people who have more like pink undertones, they've had a hard time finding a match for them. So if you're more on the pinky side, you might want to be aware of that. I know Sephora's are closed right now, so you can't go in and get a sample, which sucks. But um, maybe just use your best judgment off of that. Just go off of like the descriptions. Hopefully you can find a good match for you. For me personally, I do really like this skin tint. Um, I think it'll be great for a vacation when I can eventually go on my honeymoon to Cabo. Um, that's originally why I got it. I wanted to be able to have something that can still kind of give me some coverage, but is also light and also acts as an SPF. So yeah, um, those are my thoughts on it. I will check in with you guys later so that you guys can see what my skin's looking like. So it's been a couple hours. Um, let's see, it's about five o'clock right now. I put this on around 12 o'clock so it's been a solid five hours um and this is what it's looking like <laughs> took off my hoops <laughs> and my headband already because i was over it but um this is what the skin is looking like it did settle into my like forehead lines a little bit um again i think i mentioned this before a lot of the foundations that i use i have such like prominent forehead lines that it almost always settles into my forehead line so like that's nothing new um other than that i'd say it still looks pretty solid um i mean yeah i am a little bit more dewy than i was earlier but like nothing too crazy um I would say everything still looks like it's in place besides my eyeshadow, but that's just the eyeshadow. <laughs> I really like this skin tint. I think it looks so pretty and natural. Um, if you're looking for something to make you look natural and dewy, this is for sure it. I haven't tested this out for like a long, long time. I don't think this would be a foundation that you wear like for 12 hours straight and expect it to still be on. I mean, 
I think if you wear any foundation for that long, it's definitely gonna fade. But I think it serves its purpose as like a daily, just regular skin tint with some SPF. Perfect for the beach, perfect if you just wanna go slap something on for work or for a walk or whatever your in the sun adventures are. Um, so yeah, I think it's a 10 out of 10. I definitely would recommend to people who want to try this out, if you're thinking about trying it out, I would definitely do it. So that's all I have for you guys today. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Um, and let me know in the comments down below if you have tried this skin tint, what your thoughts are. Also, let me know what you guys want to see from me next. I have a lot of time on my hands right now to be filming videos. I want to film more videos that you guys want to see. So please let me know in the comments down below what you want me to see from me next. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>